What does that mean for risk assets? Should we expect upside in the market or downside? And the answer is downside. In the crypto markets, would we likely see more downside? The answer is yes as well. Probabilities are everything. Probabilities dictated that when you get a topping tail and it fits the criteria, that now you have a top in the chart. I said that on that day. Since then, we had one, two, three, four down days, one bounce, another down day, and a big fall. Look at this, guys. This is not good news for Ethereum. If Tesla is going to pull back, if NVIDIA, those are risky, risky, risk assets, it makes sense that crypto could be in trouble. Now, this is your lift chart prior to the earnings. I'm going to flip over to the 10 minute chart and look at this collapse yesterday in the after hours and this morning, right? So we have lift trading down at $11.16. So the question here is, well, where do we look for technical support? Where do we find technical support? To do that, we have to go back to the daily chart, okay? So when we go back to the daily chart, please note that you don't have the downside action because you haven't had the stock market open yet. But right off the bat, there's a very clear double bottom here at $9.75. So basically what this tells me is that if Lyft gets down to $9.75, now remember, it's already near 11 bucks. So it very easily could flush to 975. That will be a day trading opportunity. Now, again, is it a swing trade? You might get some sort of technical bounce, but again, this to me would look look to me as a day tradable opportunity uh, more so than a swing trade, mainly because you're gonna have a lot of funds over the next couple of days unloading shares and, and it could just drift lower following the potential technical bounce on an intraday basis. So once again, guys, 975 is a level to watch on Lyft. The dollar is absolutely a inverse indicator for the markets and for risk assets. All right. Well, anyways, I know a bunch of you guys know it, but bottom line is this is a bull flag formation on the dollar. The U.S. dollar, again, is putting in a bullish consolidation pattern. What can we extrapolate from this setup? What's the probabilities? And remember, everything technical that I do is all about probabilities. So ultimately, what this means is whether or not the dollar goes up today or next week, this is telling us probabilities are the dollar is going to start to move higher. What does that mean for risk assets? Should we expect upside in the market or downside? And the answer is downside. In the crypto markets, would we likely see more downside? The answer is yes as well. If the dollar is moving higher, we likely will see downside in risk assets. And again, this would be my target on the dollar. This is where I would consider buying Bitcoin again for a quick trade, or I would consider buying some stocks or the S&P or the NASDAQ. See how it all aligns? That tells you there is a major level there as that's going to be resistance. It's a former level that was huge. We've been away from it for a little time. So if the dollar rallies up, 105.50 essentially is going to be big resistance. All right. So again, the dollar tells us a lot. Remember, if the dollar is going up, you, sh you have to assume markets are going to go down. If the dollar goes down, assume markets are getting a bounce. All right. So ultimately, what we're going to look for here is the potential for downside to continue on the gold chart. All right. So again, you guys know I was a huge bull in 2022 and early 2023. I unloaded my gold longs right up in this higher range as we were coming into resistance. Now I'm looking to rebuy right in this 1800 level. All right. 1800 level is going to be key support. All right. That is going to be my first level. Now, again, think about this, right? Am I going to look to buy everything at once on gold when it hits that level or will I inch into the position? And the answer is I'll inch in. Why? Well, because it could pierce that level and it could go here, right? There's a little bit of support right here. So you want to buy in tranches, essentially in segments, because that'll give you your best dollar cost average. If the dollar is showing us upside with a bull flag, does it make sense that the gold chart should be showing us bearish consolidation potentially with a down move? And the answer, of course, is heck yeah, that makes perfect sense. So the key is, and this goes for a lot of newbies out there. And again, I know we have a lot of new people that are watching me, a lot of people that have watched me for years. And the key is, is that charts should make sense. Tesla looks like it may have topped. Look at that tail yesterday. And again, part of that was the market sell, but look at the extension move. Uh, Tesla went up a full 100% off of its lows. The most important thing 
the most important thing is this level here, guys, all right? Let me use an arrow here. So see this low here, this low right here, that low there, and that low there. Notice how price went back to that. That's called a scene of the crime retrace. The, the, the scene, right? And a crime happens. The crime is the breakdown of the trend line when it breaks below. So when you return to the scene of the crime, you're returning to that level, all right? And that again is going to be major resistance. All right. Again, for me, when I see the euphoria in stocks like Tesla, it's very reminiscent of 2021. Remember, the time of 2021 was a unique time in history. Interest rates were zero. Uh, the Fed was printing money. The government was sending checks to most U.S. citizens. People were staying home. So to, to see a technical bounce like this, and by the way, this goes for Bitcoin, too, of why I'm so skeptical about the move on Bitcoin to the upside and why I very blatantly came out on all my interviews and said, guys, I don't believe this for one second that this is a new bull market, is that we now have no printing of money. We have 5% interest rates. The government's not sending us any checks. And people are now having to drive back to work. The people are now going back to work. So all of these factors are so much different than what we had back in 2021. Now, if we look at Bitcoin, again, I, for those of you that are members of verifiedinvestingcrypto.com, I talked about this. I said, guys, this is a topping tail here. Topping tail is a specific candle formation that probabilities, again, probabilities are everything. Probabilities dictated that when you get a topping tail and it fits the criteria, that now you have a top in the chart. I said that on that day. Since then, we had one, two, three, four down days, one bounce, another down day, and a big fall. We broke this level here. The reason why that's so important is because you now have a negation of any bullish consolidation. This was bullish consolidation even with the topping tail. It was sideways chop. You've now broken below the low of that bullish consolidation. Now you will have support on Bitcoin right here. This is your FTX um, beginning drop over here. So if I zoom out, FTX news came out here, it fell. We hit it right here. You can see how it pulled back and then broke out. This will now be a scene of the crime support. If that breaks, and by the way, that's around 21,300. If that breaks, there's no support until 18,400. If we ever close above that topping tail high, that is a negation of the bearish topping tail. You should expect price to go up to at least 25,000, potentially close to 30,000. All right. Now, again, that's a big if. When does that happen? I mean, eventually it'll happen in the next bull cycle, whenever that is. But that's the, what I would watch for on the other side. Google's on my radar this morning. If I flip to the 10 minute, the chart has actually turned green. It was lower earlier, which is a shame because I was actually looking to be a buyer this morning of this. Um, look at this trend line retrace yesterday. Trend line here today. So we, yesterday we hit that and it was a good bounce today. If we do fall down, this is your level right here. There's a gap fill at around $93. If we get to 93, I will be buying it most likely as a day trade, maybe even a swing trade. This is a big move for Google, by the way, you went all the way from 108 down to basically the 93s yesterday in a couple days. That's a huge move. So again, gap fill, huge support right there. That's what I'm going to be looking at in terms of an opportunity. Look at this, guys. This is not good news for Ethereum. Ethereum had this channel that I've talked about in my daily crypto videos that are on verifiedinvestingcrypto.com. Look at the break below the line. You closed below. Now, you haven't confirmed. So there is a small, albeit small chance it can get back above that line. If it doesn't and it confirms, you'll have minor support at 1500 and then there's no support until 1325. Okay. So that's kind of, you know, it's definitely like it's borderline breakdown here. You would, you wouldn't, I wouldn't classify this as a full fledged breakdown because it hasn't confirmed the break yet, but it is like, it's hanging on by a nail, like, like one fingers on the cliff and it's hanging over the cliff at this point. If Tesla's going to pull back, if Nvidia, those are risky, risky risk assets. It makes sense that crypto could be in trouble. Does it also make sense that if the dollar is making a bull flag and it breaks up, that we could also see crypto fall in this chart? Yes, it does. It all should align, right? And again, it doesn't mean it's always going to work out perfectly. We never invest 100% of our assets into anything. But by diversifying out amongst multiple different trading opportunities, we limit our risk. So what I do is I spread my money out amongst those knowing that the the overall win rate will be there by using technical analysis. And that then gives me an overall net positive 
gain in my portfolio. And it sure adds up fast. Ask anyone that's a member of InTheMoneyStocks.com, VerifiedInvestingCrypto.com, uh, or anyone who's taken the Verified Investing Education, the Winning Trader Series, will blow your mind, change you forever. Coinbase has had a dramatic fall yesterday. Please note how we had lots of resistance right up here. This was telling us that Coinbase was a short. In fact, in, ver in Verified Investing Alerts at InTheMoneyStocks.com, I shorted this. Okay, now did I get the exact high? Nope. But did I get close to the high? Was I able to add to my position? Yes. And what, what did we do yesterday? We closed it out for a huge gain. Um, as it comes down, where is your support level on Coinbase today? Right around $55 to $56. See that sideways chop right there? That's going to give you a support level. So if you get there, again, do I think that's the low on Coinbase? No, it's probably eventually going to go lower, but that's a technical bounce level. 